Wait, maybe I should actually look at the map. The map will probably tell me. Is that not the cave? I swear that was the cave I've already been in. Oh, wait, no, there's a cave there. I can see it on the map. I didn't investigate that before. I, I didn't see that before. Tengari. I see the cave on the map. It's in a crevice over here. Is this the cave? Is it there? Yes. This looks right. Yes, this is a cave. Okay, so hopefully there's a... <laughs> hopefully. It's kind of a weird thing to wish upon. Hopefully there's a ghost in here. Yes, there is! There is a freaking ghost in Oh, she's got company. Wait a minute! Wait, this is... Huh? This is the same cave I went in before? The chest is open, so it must be. Uh, she's got a familiar friend. Hello. Gup! Oh, yes. Huh? This girl, is she... Certainly looks like an ollie boy in the spirit realm she is, if I had to take a guess. I feel like she wants to tell me something. What should I do, Mr. Rippy? Oliver, how many times have we done this? It, you've... Even if you hadn't gone to Yule by this point, you would have spoken, you should have spoken to Horace multiple times. Eh? You're joking, right? Do the same thing you always flip and do, Ollie boy. Cast a spell and save the day, innit? Yeah, I, I, why? Why at this point is he still so freaking clueless? Like, this is... I, I'd be worried he's got a friggin' problem by this point. You can see me. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. But what's a young girl... I mean, girl like you doing over by here anyway. Is there any chance that she doesn't know she's a ghost? Well, I'm worried about my jabby, jabber guppy. Oh, that's her familiar. We used to always be together, you see, ever since I was a little girl. Am I going to get this jabber guppy? <laughs> Can you imagine? But then one day we got caught up in an enormous blizzard while we were out playing and, well, this happened to me. Oh my god. She literally freaking froze to death. I mean, she is a little girl. She freaking froze to death in, the, in a storm. That's so freaking dark. The problem is, my Jabba guppy hasn't left my side since. I think he's scared. I'm really worried about him. He can't stay with me forever. Why not? But don't you want to be together? It's not about what I want. I'm... I'm dead. <laughs> it's about what's right for him. He has to learn to survive on his own and get on with his life. Oh my god, this is so freaking... I did not... I was not expecting immediate trauma. Well, maybe you could help. Would you mind toughening him up for me? It has to be done. Oh my god, am I actually going to get this freaking Jabba guppy? Oh, it doesn't look like you can take him with you right now. I think you've got too many familiars. Maybe you could get somebody, somebody to take care of one or two of them for a while. Oh my god, what the frig? Am I going to give him back? The task for this is basically have this familiar. I'm really confused about this place though, because like I went in a cave before, but it wasn't this cave, because there was no ghost in it, and I didn't come in with Tengri in that cave. But like, there's an open chest there, as if I've already been in here. Is there like? There's no chest up there though, where I got another one with Swain. So why is that chest open? That's confuzzling. Uh, oh, I forgot. No, don't do all this again. Would you mind toughening up for me? It has to be done. Agree to look after a girl's pet Jabba guppy. So am I... So is the task literally I've got to level him up and then bring him back? Like, I'm not actually getting him. Crikey, there's mature. Brings a tear to my eye. It does. It must be getting soft. I must be getting soft. Well, the least we can do is give you a hand, innit? We'll make your... Pal, the most self-reliant Jabba guppy this side of Hamelin. Mark my words. Really? Oh, thank you. So how about you bring him back when he's gone up another ten levels? What the frig? All right, we'll see you then. Okay, so I'm not... Come on, Ollie boy, let's teach this scaredy guppy the ways of the world. I was going to say, I'm not going to be getting him, but I feel like... They probably are just going to give him to you, right? Oh, wait, no, he has a name as well already. Jabbo. Like, are we actually going to give him back? It seems a bit weird making you raise a creature that you aren't going to keep. He's got to go up another 10 levels, up to level 40. 
Ugh, the only thing is, is that I, I, I don't want to waste... I don't want to waste precious levels on him when I could be raising one of these guys. Then again, level 30 is not too bad. Like, he's the same level as Rocco, but Rocco's got immense defenses for it, though. I don't know what to do, because now I'm like... Do I just grind specifically just to get him there as quick as possible and finish off the task, or do I just stick him in my party temporarily until the task is done? I really don't... Oh. You know what? Maybe I will actually grind because I actually have a few guys. Yeah, I've got a few guys that really could do with some level catching up. So I might actually go to the Billy Goat's Gruff and run into a few... Go ahead and run into a few uh, Toco Tocos. In fact, why did I put away... I put away Percival and I need Percival for that, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. And just just grind so that I can quickly get this out of the way. I don't know if we're going to end up with him permanently. I would guess so because, I don't know, it just seems a bit weird. Like, here's a thing for you to... Like, you can literally... You can feed him. So it just seems a bit weird. Like, here's a thing you can get attached to and, like, spend your time leveling up, but then we're going to take him away. That just seems strange. So I've got a feeling that he's going to be with us permanently. But before I do that... I'm gonna go to Hamelin and finally give this man his friggin' courage. He's been waiting for so long. Like, Jesus, I, I would have thought the woman would, would have been like, I'm done with you by this point, it's been so long. Now, Ollie boy, crack out, give heart, I'm serving up a generous helping of courage. Yep, finally. Finally, man. I thought this day would never come. I say, why have I still not seized the moment and asked her for my beloved hand in marriage? You just let your nerves get the better of you, I guess, but you're fine now, huh? I have never felt better. The stars are in alignment. I shall win her hand before the day is out. Thank you so much for listening to my words. It seems you to have done wonders for my nerves. Please take this for your admirable patience. My god. Admirable patience? It's, it's as if they even the game knew that it might be ages before you actually get this guy done. Three Bambana fans and 500 guilders. And three measly stamps. Like, by this point, three stamps is, like, not all that great. <laughs> Have you seen how many stamps the other quests are offering up? Especially considering how long this one took. Oh god, yes, and the frigging... the Grimmelkin again from... That, the friggin- oh, whoops, not that one. The friggin schoolgirl that Shadar Sid is like hyper focused on for some weird reason and keeps getting broken hearted over and over again. Need to fix her again. You know, the one thing that I think is missing, I don't know. I mean, it's not in like the new tricks to unlock, so I don't know if it'll ever give you a certain thing, but the one thing that I feel like the game is missing is it, it'd be nice to actually have something like some kind of travel method that lets you travel faster, like on foot like this, that's not Tengri flying, but it's just on foot because having to jump to get just a little tiny bit like further ahead is just, you know, there are obviously more efficient ways of doing this system. And it's not even that much, like, I feel like there's no reason for me to have to be this slow, as slow as this, throughout the entire game when I'm going places, especially on the world map. It really feels like when you're walking on the world map, it takes ages to get, unnecessarily long to get to most places. Have some kindness, little kitty cat. Fresh from the snowy Alps where the Tomty live. Minya? What am I doing? <laughs> Every time I make this noise, it, it immediately my brain is like, Klonoa? <laughs> Sorry for being mean to you. I didn't do it on purpose. Are you back to normal? Hooray, thank goodness. Looks like you're okay now. Be nice to your friends now, won't you? I will, I promise. It was you who helped me, wasn't it? Just like before, I mean. Here, this is for you. Thank you so much. Cheeseburger and oh my, this this friggin' little girl has a thousand guilders, and the man that's about to propose only had five hundred. What the frig? Okay, at least I got one other card. Like I feel like I should have like a button to press to either just actually run faster, like that I can hold down to run or something, or just switch to like run mode, or give me some kind of creature that just like pops out and like 
gives me a faster run. Because it's not like the speed is painfully slow, but it's just like, after so long of running around, it just begins to feel like... Oh, whoops, I went past... I was too busy talking, I went past Swift Solutions. It just begins to feel like, like, we can go faster than this game. Like, you could have given me that something that would have made me a little bit more faster than this. Why haven't you? <laughs> Oh, which one is it? I forget. Is it this one? Come on, Mum, pick it over. You're proper funny. Why would you give it all? Oh, it's this little guy in here. Give him some old confidence, even though, like, again, they were like, oh, yeah, you don't give art to fairies. You give art. Um, But we're giving you heart anyway. Eh? There's funny. I feel all calm and confident. Yeah, itching to do a bit of a routine, I am. Point me to a stage and watch me go. Really? Got your confidence back, have you? Honest like, this ain't a rubbish joke or nothing. Nah, man, proper fearless I am. I reckon I could do a gig in front of Shadar himself and not bat an eyelid. You lot are flipping lifesavers. Ta, man, seriously. Here, it ain't much, but it'll have to do. A thousand guilders and a pie on... Oh, three pies on the bone. Comedy gold. Okay, good. Is there anybody... Who else needs emotions? Is there anybody else? Oh, yeah, me... Oh, wait trust but i haven't wait wait a minute i don't have trust and i didn't get any from the tom t either does that mean is there a f oh god not again is there is there another location that i've not been to that's like missing an emotion for me to give oh for god's sake i thought that, that i thought that after finding the friggin i suppose i've got belief as well that i haven't given it to i thought that like after i came out of there i would have enough motions to, f to make everybody happy, but I don't. I'm gonna go talk to the designer in Castaway Cove just because I've got a feeling that it's not gonna be as simple as Hi there! Yeah, I'll make you a swimsuit. Like, I've got a feeling that this is gonna be one of those ones where it's like, you get a quest and then the quest leads to a quest and then that quest leads to a quest, you know what I mean? Like, you do a, you do a little trail of quests. Oh, how wonderful to see you again! You are looking for a design to bring an element of elegance to your life, perhaps? Actually, yes, we're looking for a snazzy swimsuit. We thought maybe you would have one. You thought correctly, in theory at least, and we're gonna have to bring you ingredients or something. But alas, my very last snazzy swimsuit has been taken. Oh, somebody bought it, huh? Tragically not. It was in fact stolen by a most troublesome seagull, and one without an ounce of fashion sense at that. What the frig? How was he able to carry a swimsuit? I mean, I suppose those seagulls actually can be pretty strong when they're determined. Jeepers, a seagull stole your swimsuit, and they can be huge as well. Uh, you wouldn't happen to remember which direction it flew off in, would you? Yeah, we're gonna friggin' find- we're gonna go friggin' hunting for a seagull. I cannot be certain, but- for I was rather traumatised at the time, but I feel it may have flown to the west. Only the ancients know where it may be now, however. The west. The west, huh? Alright, come on, Mr. Drippy. Hang on a minute, Mom! Don't you think we should get some more clues first? Yeah, the West does not... Like... What, that's not a lot of information. Where can we get more clues? He's just like, don't you think we should get some more clues? Okay, where though? It just says to the West. That does... Like, what? Where do I get more clues, Mr. Drippy? If you're gonna suggest more clues, maybe give me some advice on how I can do that. It doesn't help that, like, literally this area is the ba the bayou's west. <laughs> like, um, we're in the west already, guys. Right, so there's that island to the west. There's two islands. Wait. But isn't... One of those islands is one that we can't even get to with Tengri. But there's that tiny island to the west. So you know what? I'm gonna go over there just to see. Because, like, nothing of like, wait, can I even go in that island? I don't know, it might actually not even let me. With Tengri, I might only be able to get to it by boat. Oh no, this is gonna allow me. Because nothing of significance has happened. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, I didn't mean to spin. Nothing of significance has happened on these islands. So, I'm too, I'm literally right over it, so I can't land on it. So maybe that's what I need to do. Also, what the frig is this thing? <gasps> there it is! Her, there's writing on this stone. I wonder what it says. It's not relevant right now, so we're not going to try to translate it. Yeah, there he is. He's right there. It really was this isle to the west. Now, how's this going to turn out? Is he just going to fly away? Are we, are we going to have to whack him? Like, 
Is he gonna call monsters? What's going on here? Oh, he's gonna have a quest. The seagull has the swimsuit in his mouth. Well spotted mon, it must be the pesky bird that's been tormenting Castaway Cove. It must be her, do you think he'll give it back to us? Well, there's only way one to find out. There's only one way to find out, oh, yeah, Ollie boy. Get your wand out and have a word, like. Yep, why Why have you stolen this? Like, why does a seagull need a swimsuit? This sounds like a riddle. <laughs> what does a raven have in common with a writing desk? Or how is a raven like a writing desk, I guess, to be more precise. Ah, what pretty colours, such soft fabrics, but how do I wear it? Oh no, he, he literally is just a fashion... A fashionista a seagull that likes the swimwear. Excuse me, Mr. Seagull, would you mind giving that swimsuit back to us? What? Wow, how can you? You can understand what I'm saying! Every word, you feathered fella. Now hand over that costume, you pinch. Don't be mean to him. That bikini by there is a valuable piece of swimwear, as worn by a beautiful princess. Wasted on the likes of you it is. You don't even know what to do with it, man. Wow, that's so mean. It's not wasted on him. If he would actually manage to figure out how to get into it. Alright, alright, there's no need to get into a flap about it. How was I meant to know it was so precious? Well, anyway, I suppose it's only fair that I give it back. Here, take it. Really? Gee, thanks, Mr. Seagull. Since Seagull was so nice, we literally just bullied him into having... to giving that back to us. <laughs> like, it friggin' looks like... It friggin' looks like Aerith... Like, one of Aerith's swimwear from Final Fantasy Rebirth. <laughs> Which, again, just been playing, so... Fresh on the mind. I can't help but make the comparison. Okay, um, uh, uh, well, I just want to go back to Castaway Cove just to see if, like, the lady's like, yay, you got it back, or anything, or maybe she just doesn't care. I don't know. Let's have a look. Because just because she said it was stolen, that doesn't mean that we're allowed to just take it. If you, I must start coming up with ideas for next Oh, okay. I guess we don't care to tell her that, like, we got it back. <laughs> This swimsuit's as good as, um, that lady from Yule. It's as good as hers. Well, that was pretty simple. It's a good thing I found that pretty fast. It actually made it easier that I'd already been there. Hello. Me, my, it is the real item. This is being a really snazzy swimsuit. Is this the kind you wanted, Mom? Please, it's yours. Can you imagine what would be so funny is if she literally just changed into it and was walking around here in a swimsuit. That would have been hilarious. I know they're not going to do it, but that would have been so funny. Hang on a sec. You ain't going to put the thing on and try going for a swim round by ear, are you? Oh, come on, please. Haha, <laughs> it is not possible to be swimming nearby these parts, silly fairy. Aw. Well, I know that, don't I? I was a joke, man. A flippin' joke. Ah, Drippy's one of those people. When you get say something wrong, all of a sudden it becomes a joke. What's it called? Like Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's cat, Schrodinger's joke, where whether it's a joke or not is dependent on the reaction of the audience. <laughs> it's either a joke if they react badly, or it's not a joke if they react positively. Humorful, but now that you have brought my dream to me, I would like to one day try it in the sea. Perhaps I will visit Castaway Cove for holidays. Gee, that's a neat idea. You'll love it, ma'am, I promise. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you, boy. Here, this is to show my debt to you. The least you could do is learn my name, not call me boy. That is a lot of stuff, thank you. I will stop complaining now. And that is a lot of freaking stamps. It's more like it. Nicer than just three. Oh, we're nearly there to another card. Right, there's only the, the familiar-oriented ones I can do now, so... I mean, I might as well go to Billy Goat's Gruff because by this point, not wait a minute. Who? Because I've still got somebody that needs to metamorph, right? So by this point, there might already be a stone for me to pick up at the. Uh... Oh, I also need to get Percival back. I need to drop somebody off so that I can one hit Toko Tokos. Um, I mean, you're in reserves anyway, so I might as well just get rid of Gemma for now. Yep, bring back Percival. Um, and then, okay, Saturn is my final metamorph, even though, to be honest, with the other ones, I've kind of seen, like, how good they can be before they metamorphed. Saturn has really not been impressive at all, which is a shame because he looks awesome. I like the look of him, but, like, when I've used him, like, anything I've tried to do with him, it's just been, like, it's not been great. Like, he just doesn't do very good damage and he dies quick as well. Like, it's just like, what, what, what are you meant to be? <laughs> Oh god, 
I friggin' looked at friggin' Saturn and didn't take in what he- what his metamorph stone was. Wait, I could- uh, no, you know what, I better- It's probably Star, isn't it? That was the one that was most popular, I think, but I don't- I better actually know because I don't want to waste time save scumming just to get it wrong. You want a jumbo star drop? And we have one, so we only need two. You only have three attacks anyway. Not that I'm going to actually be fighting with you, I just need you to get experience. Okay, get the toko toko. There we are. Watch this! Time to do your work, Percival. Slight. Uh, is that the right one? I think it's slice and dice. Yes, it is. There we go. I don't know why, but I knew this frigging egg roll was gonna try and come with us. But we don't want you. We've already got multiple of you. Okay, cool. So we're just gonna do this until the guppy hits. Ooh, Nestle and Water Spout. We're only gonna do this until. Oh, there's Upsa Daisy. Nice. Lease of- Oh, Lease of Life? What the frick is that? Oh, I'm getting so much interesting stuff. Thunderstorm, nice. You've also got Lease of Life? Oh, well, time to find out what the frick this is. A mighty healing power is unleashed, greatly restoring one ally's health. Oh, it's just a high-level recovery move, but targeted, so it's not just the user that gets it. That's nice. Uh, soothing- I need to compare, like, how good that is to Esther's healing thing. Right, so it's a much better healing glow, basically. Um, so in that case, yeah, get rid of healthy glow. Oh, Gogo actually has a life light based attack. So I didn't lose life based attack, light based attacks after I got rid of Limal. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna do this until Jabo hits level forty, so that the quest is done. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Oreo. We want you to have Upsa Daisy. So get rid of pick me up. Put Upsa Daisy. I've got a feeling that you're probably gonna get Lisa life as well. <laughs> That's just a more powerful bubble bath. Damage nearby enemies. De cuts through enemies. I guess we'll just have to see how good that is. Oh right, uh I mean, this also cures elements, but I think I think it's probably just better just to have a move that can just outright pick who I heal. That's your chances, do you? He's trying to run already, the little prick. <laughs> he knew what was coming. He didn't even frigging like. Normally, they at least try to like stick around to fight a little bit but he didn't even try he was like yeah I'm gonna die immediately so I'm gonna run straight off the bat kill this gobspeed with leech nom 46 wait what wait what I got nothing from that wait was it because I was fully restored it might be because I was full I was fully healed already let's try it again leech wait what I got- huh? I, I killed it with leech, but I got zero both times. Maybe it's because I was at full health when I first used it, and then the second time, because the enemy had died, I'd already counted as level up, and you get full restore when you level up. Maybe that's why? I hope that's why, because if that move, for some reason, is giving me- no health back, then what's the friggin' point? Bracer? Which I probably won't even put on you. Ill Wind? Guess we'll find out what that is. You're at 36. If you're going by three levels each time, then you'll be done after two more tokos. An eerie, malevolent wind deals dark damage to- Ooh, you have a dark dark attack! Okay, let's get rid of firewall and put that on you because, like, we've got bigs with fire attacks. So, we don't need you to also have- You've also got fire attacks as well, so yeah, this is good. So you know what? You know what that means? 
You can f you finally we can put that friggin' thing that increases deflects. Wait, no, no, not that. I'm looking for. There's a thing. Which one was it? Oh, can you not even friggin' equip it? You probably can't friggin' equip. No, <laughs> you can't equip it. It's a shard, isn't it? A scale or something. Yeah, no! I finally got something that increases the power of somebody who can actually use an increase in dark moves and you can't even put it on. That's so disappointing. Oh, there we are. And two star crystals, so it immediately gives us enough for the metamorphosis. Jumbo star. It's really weird because for some reason the star crystals is the only one that seems like that it gives you two per spawn. Like all the others, it seems to give you one, but for some reason for the star crystal, it seems to give you two. Unless I've just misread and actually the others have given you two before. And like, you look amazing, but you've been a disappointment. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, I friggin' love it. I love them both. This one looks very much like a natural moth. Lisa life, okay, I already know that's like a very high curing move. Whirl whirlies, which is a low damaging. It's not like I mean, I suppose it's not low damaging since. Oh no, it says level twenty-seven. Yeah, that's not a great move though. Like that's, a, I'm pretty sure that's a low damaging storm move. And then another light attack and another storm attack. You get ill wind, which what what does that do again? I forget. Oh wait, it's a dark type attack. Can you hold shards? Can you hold scales? Midnight Flutterby, that also is a really cool name. And Midnight Flutterby and Midday Flutterby. This is almost like the Lycan Rock thing. Like like Midnight, Lycan Rock, and Midday Lycan Rock. Dawn, whatever it is. Mid Dawn, I don't remember. Ill Wind. Why do you both get Whirlaliggies? Except you get it at a lower level. What is that about? That's so strange. And then you get another Dark type attack and then a Storm attack. This one's looking a. Oh, it's annoying because I really I like the look of both of them, but I really like the look of this one. I love the flip, the feathery antennae. But at the same time, this one's got more dark moves, and I feel like I'm no, I don't have a lot of dark moves. Like I've had definitely more access to light moves than dark moves. How about your stats? You've got the same attack, the same defense. This one's got one point more of magical attack. This one's got one point more of magical defense. This one's got one point more of accuracy. And that one's got one point more of evasion. And this one is resistant to light. Right, this one's resistant to dark and that one's resistant to light because that's what they are! Okay. Uh, I don't really know which one I like more to be honest. Apart from the feathery antennae. Wait. Oh no, wait. Wait, if it's a special creature, do I- is there no page on it? No! There's no page on the friggin- oh no. There's no page on the flutterby. Put that on you. Because I feel like I'm kind of like I don't have a lot of dark moves. You can't- can you have the scale? No, you can't. For God's sake. Wait, can you have the scale? You can, so I could actually make use of that if I pick the dark one. So the light. You know what? I probably I've got less dark creatures, so actually I think it probably makes sense to make you a dark creature. Because I I have a lot of light creatures and not as many dark creatures, so let's just do it that way. I I, I the thing is though is I really like the feathery freaking the feathery antennae. I like these antennas as well, but that just looks more appealing to me. And I think it's also the little diamondy shapes on its fluff that also looks really cute. Yeah, let's just go for the dark one. Midnight Flutterby it is. Because you have no wizard's companion entry. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, you are hiding your freaking awesome looking wings. That looks amazing, I forget- oh, because yeah, midnight. Oh, it looks so good! Okay, less disappointed now. <laughs> and now you can use more attacks right off the bat. Yeah, why do you guys- Oh, Whirl-O-Liggies is like a, a, a better version of Whirl-O-Lig. 
so I misremembered that clearly. Another problem is that I have so many of Ollie creatures to train, but not enough spaces. Oh. Like I, I need, I need Percival to do the Toko Toko. I suppose if I once I get rid of. Oh, did I put him away? Did I put I put the freaking guppy away? <laughs> I need the guppy back, right? Yeah. So I think once I, once I get rid of the guppy, and then you can come back, in reserves. Because he's literally got six of the spots are dedicated to Ollie beasties. I've trained way too many of them. Ah. Okay, yeah, there's no point in doing this right now. But that means all of my familiars that I was training in between are officially fully metamorphed. And I can potentially start on some others. <laughs> I've not learned my lesson, clearly. Uh, nom! It's okay, you can take it! Yes! Testing out some of the new recruits. The newly- well, the, the fully evolved new recruits rather than new recruits. Oh, okay, so that is basically- Water Sprout is basically- he ray except the water version of it. You were taking some damage then, Ness, but actually you weren't like just horrifically dying, so it seems like you can take some good hits. Ooh, teal wood and a sun crystal, nice. Oh, let's give Tui's lease of life a go. See how much this does on Ollie. Oh yeah, that was like nearly full, so that's pretty good. But it's necessary, look at you! Look at this guy as he runs around! Ouch! <laughs> Looks freaking crazy! Thunderstorm everybody! That's what you're made to do! You're made for this! It doesn't amazing damage, but you are lower level than them, so... I can forgive. Ow! <laughs> Back the kitty cat! Okay. <laughs> I just love this guy, he's so great. And you are back attack so you can't friggin' try and run away right off the bat. You didn't die! How dare you! Die now! <laughs> okay, let's try the friggin' leech thing again. You're not fully recovered. Leech. There we are! We got 47 back, which is, you know... For an attacking move, it's, it's pretty alright. Wait, did that give us the full amount of the attack? I thought it would give us like... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to attack. I, mean, I thought it would give us like a... Like half. How much damage did it do to you? 43? It gives us the full amount! Wow, I'm so used to like Pokemon logic where it gives you half. Rather than the full amount. Might as well give Jabbo a go. Attack! Finish it off! Think you can make him stronger! Uh, you didn't... You couldn't finish him off? Like you were... He was about to die and you didn't manage it. <laughs> I quite like that he got a little victory animation with Swain though. Oh, Moon Crystal, nice! I'm still getting useful stuff potentially. Twister! And you got Illwind now. So you've got a dark move too. What do I not want? Oh, Whirlalig is a worse version of Whirlaligies. Get rid of that. Jabbo just has one more level to go and he's got Belly Bluster. B -b Buster, not Bluster. So yeah. I mean... I don't... I'm just gonna run into another Toko Toko. I feel like that'll take less time than just... Keep encountering until he finally levels up one more time. Right, let's have more of a go with Jabbo while we've got you. Because you're not sticking around. <laughs> oh, no, that didn't do very good. <laughs> sharpener, I guess? Oh, whoops, I didn't. I, I thought a Sharpener would just, like raise his attack, and instead I raised all these by accident. Guess. Oh, I did it again, damn it. Right, raise yourself. And pick yourself up. Now attack. 
Oh god, you're not gonna be around for much longer. Oh, but that 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 really helped though. Come on, give him a good smack to end it. Oh, okay, it didn't end it, but you know, good enough, good enough. <laughs> After all of those stat boosts, it was all right. <laughs> oh, another moon crystal. I don't. Oh wait, did I get the thing that like makes enemies drop more loot? That might be why I'm getting like better stuff now. I was about to be like, I swear when I was down here I wasn't dropping that- they weren't dropping that much useful stuff, but that's- that might explain why. A final target. Come here, you. No, you're not getting away. Haha! <laughs> now, I expect you to die in one hit, good sir. I- you still didn't? What the frig? What is going on here? <gasps> yes, give that to me! What do you get, Percival? You get inner strength- more attack- why do so many of you just have boosts for your frigging ultimate move? As if you're not powerful enough. This is entirely unnecessary. I want, like, an almighty attack, like what Mighty has. An almighty attack. Rather than a... A boost. I'm strong enough as it is. Alright, this should be it. Yep. 41, we even overdid it a bit. Can you imagine if the girl's like, Wait, you put him too high a level. That's not what I asked for. Uh, you want Twinkle Twinkle? Oh, that's the move that, um, that Limal had. Oh, now Oreo has it. Nice. Okay, good. So I still get that move back. Probably get rid of this, like, oh, Sandblast. No, Sandblast is, like, something that I literally never use, right? Yeah, get rid of Sandblast. Enlighten, that just... I don't think I ever use that. Oh, boosts magical attack though, and you are a magic attacker, so actually it could be useful. Cursing a single enemy, that is something I never do, get rid of that. Okay, good. The, uh, the guppy is ready to... I was gonna say ready to leave us, but let's be honest, it's ready to be told to join us because we're clearly competent enough to take it in. That's what I'm presuming is gonna happen. Is that where I- did I leave my ship there? Wait, what? Huh? Did I- did I leave- what? Did I put my ship there? I don't remember putting my ship there. <laughs> I'm guessing I must have done, but I don't remember doing it. I know that the game probably won't do it, but just in case they do take him away from me, I'm gonna take all the stuff off him. Just imagine like, oh thank you, and then he disappears with all of the equipment we gave him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're getting him, but still. Oh, she looks so lonely now without her little guppy with her though. Like, I, this is so sad. Oh, I need to... Yes, I need to speak to you this look at your guppy now well then what do you reckon he looks proper hard now doesn't he i mean he was level 30 before like he wasn't low level to start with my darling jabber guppy i don't believe it those muscles i don't think you'll have any problem surviving without me now um can i ask you one more favor just have him please <laughs> sure what is it would you mind letting my jabber walkie accompany you on your journey i knew it he does seem really fond of you, and I'd be happier knowing he wasn't on his own. I mean, he doesn't seem fond of us because we didn't feed him any treats, so he doesn't love us at all. Sure, we'll take him with us. Thank you. Here's a little something for your trouble. Please be nice to my Jabba guppy. Snowblower gem. Ooh, a natural good move that we could learn. And 1,500 guilders. Nice. Okay, good. So I got a free... A free metamorphosis that I didn't have to go out and catch. Oh, and I suppose I'd better give this to you as well. I don't think my Jabba Guppy can metamorphs anymore, but maybe this will help one of your other familiars grow stronger. Oh, wait, are you gonna give us an- Oh! It's just another alchemy- wait, what? I thought I had them all now. What did you give us? Oh, a jumbo planet drop. What? What? Did the- Huh? Did the frigging Jabba, whatever it was, pre-evolution require a, a planet drop or something? A rare candy that's said to contain the power of the planet re induces a dramatic metamorphosis to familiars. And I have three, but I could make one right now. Should I just make one? Yeah, well, I'm not going to do anything else with these crystals. Might as well make one. There we go. For a familiar that 
evolves with planet crystals, which I've never used a single familiar that requires any planet crystals or candies or anything. Oh, what am I doing? I can just travel out of here. It's a good thing I didn't ever choose to, like, train up that Jabba thing, because by this point I would have probably had a fully evolved one, and I could have possibly have chosen, like, this one as a metamorphosis, you never know. And then I would have been so disappointed, like, oh great, another one. It's kind of a shame that like, there isn't, like, a breeding system in this game, because it would make things so much easier if, like, you somehow- if you manage to get, like, metamorphosis- I mean, it doesn't really work, I guess, in the context of, like, these creatures, like, are kind of born off the energy of the world rather than a physical creatures, but you know what I mean? Like, it would be- it would make things a lot easier if you had a breeding system and you could breed, like, metamorphed creatures you already have and make the pre-evolution so that you don't have to go and catch it. But, uh, you know. Okay, so... I put Gemma out. Shall I put- I mean, the problem is, where am I gonna put Saturn? I've got so many Oli Ollie familiars in my arsenal at the moment. Let me just let me just have a frigging think as to what the frig I'm doing with myself at the moment. I guess it makes sense to put Percival back. We only got him out for the whole Toko Toko thing, and he's learned all of his moves, so he's not missing out on anything apart from levels. Which, of course, we're frigging over level to hell, so he doesn't really need more of those. We can bring him back practically any time. So yeah, I should put Percival out. And then put Biggs back in there. Or maybe I should put Flowey back in there just because Flowey's closer to actually learning his final move. Whereas Oreo's got a bit more to go. And then at least that way I'll know that Flowey, like, Flowey will basically be at the same kind of stage as Percival is and I can just bring Flowey whenever, back whenever I want. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Gogo has now learned everything as well. Which... Huh. Which means he's potentially ready for retirement. <laughs> because I don't- like, I like Gogo, but... I honestly wouldn't mind replacing him with something. He's a- he's a burp, the same as Tui. And I kind of like the look of Tui more. But... See, I'm gonna get myself in a mess again, just with this metamorphosis mess stuff again. I can't help myself. But the thing is, is obviously I can't... I got... Wait, let me... I got myself a friggin' griffin as one of the special metamorph... If this is one of the special... Is Wait, is the griffin in the book? I don't know. Because it was also one of the ticket ones, which was the same as Saturn, and Saturn's not in the book. But it's a friggin' griffin. And I kind of want it. Like, it looks friggin' cool as hell. So I might actually retire Gogo and start with Griffles. Griffles, yeah. <laughs> Which could be a terrible idea, but he just, I, I like, I love him. I love what he, like, I love the look. He's a friggin' Griffin. How can I say no to that? So you know what? Yeah, I'm doing it. Because, like, I mean, Tui, uh, Tui and Zappo aren't that high a level, but I'm sure with everyone else they'll be fine. Everybody else is over level to hell. Yeah, I'm going to retire Gogo. Just because I like, I'd like to base off the stuff I like. Obviously, it's all partially based off like how good they are, which Gogo is good in battle, but it's also a lot based on what I, if I like the looks of them. And look wise, I'm not massively into Gogo. -Go. So, goodbye, Gogo. -Go. You have served as well. But now I have a skate. I have a space now. Uh, with that, I've like officially gotten rid of like all of the starter creatures. <laughs> it started like getting rid of <laughs> Mighty was just the beginning. They were all set to go. <laughs> Do I bring Jema back in? Oh wait, I didn't put- wait, I was gonna put Percival back as well. For now. Percival's not being retired. Percival is definitely gonna come back. But just... Not right now. With his- with his fully evolved- like, fully learned everything, there's just no reason to really have him there. Especially since, like, Biggs is at a decent level and still learning things. 
And like, Flowey's at a decent level, and like, Ness is catching up now, so we're all pretty good. Now, here's the problem I have. I friggin' like these two. But they're both dragons. So... <laughs> that means it'd be even more friggin' Ollie Familiars, and I've already got so many. Because Ness has been alright, but Ness... I haven't, like, absolutely fallen in love with Ness. So, even though I spent all that time working on him, I feel like he's actually potentially retireable. I love the look of Cinder here, and I really like Dynamite as well. He's got- he's really slow though. I suppose they're both quite slow. Oh, I mustn't forget Slippy though. Because Slippy's not retired, it's just- he's just not in here at the moment. Wait, where is Slippy? Oh no. Oh no. No, don't tell me. Wait, where's- I'm not- don't tell me I got rid of- okay, good. <gasps> I nearly had a heart attack. I thought I'd- I was like, I haven't seen Slippy in ages. Don't friggin' tell me I accidentally released Slippy. No, he's still here. Thank frig. Oh, he actually has a new hammer as well. And he- but he- don't press release. That's the thing that conf is really annoying about this, is that triangle is normally the button to see their moves. But in here it's to release them, which is terrible. Like, I wish they hadn't done that. I can't actually see his moves like this. Yeah, he's learned everything, that's why. Yeah. So yeah, Slippy's not retired. I just put him out to work on other things because he's learned all of his moves. So I guess I'll bring Gemma back in for support. And because I guess there's no point in working on multiple of these guys. Wait, what the frick? Oh, right, no, it's sorted through Genus. So oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to actually level up Saturn and actually get a feel for him as well. There's no point in metamorphing him and then not finding out how great he is. Okay, screw it. Let's put... Saturn was first in line. We're doing him first. But, yeah, now swap Flowey for Saturn. And then swap Gemma for now for this new guy. New Griffles. Let's see what you can have on you. You like- Oh! <gasps> you use claws! Nice! Making those claws wasn't a complete waste of time. It's a good thing this doesn't actually have like, ice elemental on it. Considering where we're about to go into. You've got more physical attack than magical attack, so there's no point in boosting your magical attack. This one boosts your physical, so put that on. Um, you don't- do you- you don't have any- no, well, at the moment you don't have any potential to learn dark moves, so there's no point in giving you that dark scale. Oh, but that's gonna go on Saturn, probably. Okay, so that just gives you more defense, so yeah, put that on you. Okay, yeah, Saturn, you finally get- allow me to make use of this, because you've got dark moves. Oh, you use claws as well! That's water element, though. Do I really want water element when, like, the next thing coming up is snow? Especially since there's a bounty coming up, and that's snow as well. Oh, that just gives you way more physical attack. But you're actually a magic attack user, more than anything. Oh, you've also got Tainted Claws for more poison. You know what, I'll give you poison as well. And then you can have this cloak. Let's go to Deep Dark Wood just so that I can- well, yeah, no, because I've done a few, like, of the stone things. I'm gonna go to Deep Dark Wood. I mean, last time I went here I was disappointed because it seemed like Father Oak didn't want to talk to me anymore. But I just want to triple check that, that he doesn't want to say any more to me, but also I'm getting a free heal before the bounty hunt. Do you really not care to talk to me anymore, Father Oak? Say it ain't so. Hello, old Father Oak. <gasps> no, he does want to speak to me! Yes! I thought that he was done after last time. Thank Frigg, he's not. Oh ho, here you are again. How very nice to see you. And how goes your journey? Hmm, tell me all about it. So you seek the three stones. Yes, we heard they were spread all over the world. Dear me, that must make things rather difficult for you, having to trudge from place to place to look for them. Trudging? Are you having a laugh? We're traveling styles, mon. It's back dragon back on nothing for us these days. Uh-huh, we made friends with a dragon. He can fly anywhere, and his name's Tengri. He can't fly anywhere because there's smog in some places. 
Oh, ho, you are fortunate indeed. I myself have never been lucky enough to take to the skies. Oh, that's a shame because now he literally has no opportunity to do so. We'll wave to you next time we're flying over the deep dark wood. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, I shall look forward to it. Thank you for sharing such an exciting tale. Let me give you a little something in return. A green man's cloak, of which we already have, but I suppose having more than one isn't a bad thing. Thank you very much, old Father Oak. Like, that's a pretty good cloak, isn't it? So, if more people can have it, can wear that cloak, then it's probably a good thing, right? Yeah, see, that is even better for you. Yeah, you put that on. Okay, good. Father Oak still does want to talk to us. Thank Frick. I was so disappointed last time I went and he had nothing to say. I was like, why? I've trudged all this way for you. On Dragonback, but still. I'm gonna do the bounty first, because that'll obviously be quicker to do than the gotta catch them all stuff. On Slaybar's Isle, North and Winter Isles, a family of monsters. Wait, a family? Wait, is this a bounty hunt that's. Oh, wait, I've had bounty hunts that are more than one, never mind. <laughs> a family of monsters have invaded the Slaybell Isles, northeast of the Winter Isles. They cannot be allowed to stay. Why not? Slay Bell Hell. They really should just call that Slay Hell rather than Slay Bell Hell. Slay Bay Isles, North and Winter Isles. Where the frig's that? I guess I should actually have a look at the new regions of the world. Is this? I've not filled this up. Wait, I've, I've been to every region of the world now. Hmm, interesting. I wonder where the queen is then. Wait. Wait, what, what the frick? The Spring Realm? What is this? Oh, wait, that's about the continents. Wait, I'm looking for... What am I looking for? The Winter Isles, that's what I'm looking for. That's not even... That's confused me, I don't know what that is. <laughs> the Winter Isles, this is what I want. Other islands. While the Summerlands and Autumnia are the two largest continents, there are plenty of small islands that the curious traveller would do well to visit. Here are two of the most notable examples. There's an island up there with a... with a treasure on it. The Glittering Grotto, which is where we're going to be going, like, to the next dungeon. A cave located in the northern part of the largest of the Winter Isles. Some say it is so... It is so labyrinthin. Is that... That doesn't seem like it is written properly, but okay. That no one who has entered has ever come out. They are, of course, wrong. <laughs> they say that, but people have come out of there. <laughs> I like that. And that was just such a subversion on that trope. Nobody's ever gone, has ever come out, and then of course you always go in and come out, and this time they're like, no, like loads of people have come out of there. <laughs> Yule, located in the southern part of the largest island. Yule is the only inhabited settlement in the Winter Isles. Be sure to visit in summer since it gets so cold in the winter that no one dares leave the house. How do they all just get snowed in? And there's a... Uh, oh, have I been to this island? I don't know which island I've been to. I thought it was one of the ones over here. There's multiple islands around here. The Winter Isles, the collection of islands located northwest of Summerlands. The climate is extremely cold and the ground is covered in ice and snow all year round. Be sure to wrap up warm should you decide to visit. It's probably one of these islands around that has the uh, the bounty hunt on it. And then there's Tahiti. Okay, so there's three islands around it. So that's probably where the, the bounty hunt is. Right, okay. So it says... It says Slaybale Isle, the Northern Winter Isle. So, Northern, I guess it means the islands that's at this end, then. On here, maybe? I don't think you can see bounty hunts by... Ah, there he is, yep. I was gonna say, I don't think you can see bounty hunts by Sky, but then he just appeared there. Wait, have I been here? I might have already been here before. Let me, if I, if I, um, look for treasure, then it'll tell me if I've been here, because if there's nothing, then I definitely have been here. Yep, I've already been here, because there's nothing on here. Okay, just the bounty hunt, and it's the fully evolved Sasquatch thing. Okay, let's get prepared, so clearly you're an ice creature. Maybe I should actually swap out, just for now, swap that out and put Firewall in because it might be more useful than Illwind. Alright, here we go. Take on Papa Sasquatch. Wait, uh, isn't the other families? Is there not going to be other Sasquatches around here? Yep. Sasquatch, Sasquish, and Papa Sasquatch. Oh my god. His face. <laughs> His red horns. Okay, let's start off with Biggs and make an impression, which is called a firewall. 
Take this, all of you. Ha ha! No. And I know these guys are gonna do the same old thing. They're gonna all start screeching and screaming at me and stopping my attacks by constantly screaming. Slash and burn him! Yes. He's nearly down already. We're too powerful for you. Although, actually, Ollie is in fact dying, so I should keep an eye on that. Maybe because he swapped to Ness for some reason instead of using Biggs? So that might be why, but a good thing that Ness is- Oh crap, we're stunned! And Ollie just died. For God's sake, that's so annoying. If he'd stayed with Biggs, he would have been fine, but he swapped to Ness. Okay, good. We're 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 moving again. Um, you don't have ups a daisy. Swain has ups a daisy. It's annoying when you start losing because the computer is stupid. Okay, Oliver's back. Oh god, don't kill Oliver straight away, please. Okay, good. He's fine. Alright, Esfer, please heal Oliver before he gets himself killed immediately. There we are. And in fact, you might want to heal yourself as well. Come on, quickly, before you run out of energy. Okay, here we are. There we are, good. Now swap to Oliver again. No, swap to Swain and actually make use of the fire attack that Whisper has. Firewall as well. There we go, you knocked them out. Okay, let's get Oliver out. Why are you using Ness? Because uh, he's using Ness because like, although Biggs is more powerful, they resist Biggs' attacks, so that's why. But still, it's just stupid, because it's like, Biggs is obviously better for this. It's just dying again. Why Why are you dying again? Stop dying. Oh, but the friggin... Okay, you'll have to use your actual own magic. Uh... Nope, we want this one. Heal yourself with your own songs. Right, okay. I guess we'll go with Zappo as well. Yeah, just attack it. It's nearly dead. You can take him out. There we are. I'm pretty sure Ness scored the last hit there, but whatever. I think I'm pretty sure Zappo missed. There we go. Saturn's level 7. Griffles is level 5, and we've completed the bounty. Let's go and take get our reward. Oh, do I have some? I think I should have some cards now to claim at least. Then again, do I want to save them because the stuff on offer now is like, requires a lot of cards. Uh, where's Swift Solution in this place? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's, it, it's funny because it's like, it's still the building still made to look like that, but because everything is all icy and snowy, it blends into everything, so I don't know where anything is in here. Okay, I would like to claim a bounty. I have recovering more monies, and I'm getting so many more. I'm getting so many of those like snow-oriented damage move gems. Oh, we didn't get another card. Hmm. But oh, I only have two. No, I don't have anyone near. What would I even use this on? Like, I quite like that, just because then it means that I have a potential of getting every familiar without having to waste so many hours if I have an improved chance. Uh, that's cool, but it's not, like, I don't feel like I'm desperate for that. Mm, I mean, do I really need more experience? I'm, like, frigging overleveled as hell already. Do I need more experience? I don't think I really do. More rare drops is also really useful. This just says unlock your potential. It doesn't tell you what it does at all. But it's the most expensive one. I think I probably just actually really do want the familiar capture thing, because, like, I know that's obviously not very important, but I kind of want to get every familiar. And then rare drops for obviously getting better items. Speaking of familiars, the only thing is, is by the time I actually get enough stamps to do it, 
like how many familiars am I gonna need to get because like now I have to go out and get more and I'm doing it without that so it's like how useful is it gonna be I'm probably not gonna have that many creatures to go and get after by the time I get that but yeah I've got to go and get Derwin's familiars now and also the silly manda thing in the frog dungeon so yes that is what we are doing next oh that's really annoying I was hoping there would be a teleport in front of this dungeon to get us to the other end because as is that means we have to go down here get turned into a frog go all the way to the other end of the dungeon oh wait no never mind oh it broke oh thank frig okay for a second i thought i was gonna get turned into a frog and have to go all the way around and then come back cured but luckily they've gotten rid of that thank frig okay good there's a little silly manda okay i have to be careful because these guys are fast then again i might have just not been able to have catch him because last time i was a frog but still, gotta be careful. He's so wiggly waggly. I like his movements. Okay, good. So, silly mandas are pretty much like only took me like five, five silly mandas, so not too long. About 20 minutes. Silly man, no. Cillian? Cillian? <laughs> okay, I guess we'll go with Cillian, but spell more normally rather than Cillian. <laughs> okay, good. Where to next? Net oh, I, can't I always forget these freaking places are dungeons. I don't know how I forgot this one's a dungeon, though, because it's way more obvious of a dungeon than the deep dark wood. Alright, now, <clears throat> now all the rest to get are either in this area or... So... I was a bit confused because one of the things was like, oh, it's a proud creature. And I was like, which does that mean? Does that mean like the Ice Queen thing or something? But I, then I realized I hadn't read the thing fully. Or I hadn't understood the thing fully. And it specifically says it's in the, gr glittering, gr uh, in the glittering Grotto. So we're going to have to actually progress before we can finish the quest. Oh, but this is the one with the snow on its head. It's specifically... Oh, I can't run into this because of that. <laughs> oh, wait, what the frick? That counted it is, as it encountering me first. That's so unfair. I ran through it because of the the dialogue box. But yeah, the evolution of the Sasquish, which is the Sasquash, is the one with the snow on its head that we have to get. Oh my god, I'm getting so many items for evolutionary stuff now. Oh, and Griffles learned Belly Buster. Okay, we got the Sasquatch, which is the one with the snow in its head. Squashy, Squashel, Squasheroo. Are these different? I think they are different from the other one. Squash a meal. Because I think the other one was called Squishy, wasn't it? Not squ Squishy and Squashy. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. We'll have Squishy and Squashy. I normally wouldn't do that because it's stupid, but whatever. It's not like I'm going to use them. Okay, Saturn's got <clears throat> Saturn's got ill wind now, so now we can actually make use of the shadow glass scale with a dark type move. So get rid of poison pinch for ill wind. <laughs> the friggin' whisper is like so fast and it like because of the the fiery knife it's got it everything is weak to it it's really good she's just so good around here hocus focus the frig's that just just improve magical attack yep increase magical attack so you've got increased attack and increased ma although your magical attack isn't all but then again i've been using your magic your magical attack isn't great but i've been using it like all the time Oh, wait, what? Boosting magical attack. Right, okay. Hocus Focus is basically a better Enlightened because it gets. It lets you actually pick the target, whereas Enlightened just boosts yourself. Okay, so in a way, this one's kind of lucky because I, th this one took a little bit longer than the Silly Manda. 
Um, but in a way, it's a bit lucky because I got this one, the lost, the Lotus Bud first, which actually has the lower recruitment rate of it and the Ice Maiden. It has four percent recruitment rate, whereas the Ice Maiden has eight percent recruitment rate. Recruitment rate, so literally double the chance to get the Ice Maiden. So hopefully, I should be getting the Ice Maiden pretty soon since I got this. Lorenzo, oh my god, why do you have such good names? Loretta, Lothar, Luther, L Luther and Lorenzo. I forget, I, I can't, like, I like, I don't know, this is, these are probably references to something, but I don't, I don't know what it is, I don't care, L Lorenzo just sounds like a really cool name. Okay, let's see if I can actually give Saturn a go now. So let's, let's do the ultimate, out, the ultimate moves. Time to shine, make us more powerful. And then let's try our our boosted dark type our boosted scale dark type move Illwind. Hundred and eleven. Okay, not too bad. Oh no. Okay, Frank Frank, that would have been annoying if you'd put her to sleep after all that. Wind tunnel. Okay, you killed him. Good. Considering you're Still in the level by comparison to these guys, that's pretty good. Wow, you're really fast as well, Jesus. You're so fast! Oh, but your normal attack does one and two. Maybe that's because you're so low level, though, again. <coughs> Not too bad of a test for a fully evolved Saturn. It's better than he has been. All the other times when I've used him, he's been absolutely rubbish, so... You know... The only thing is, is that normally for a familiar that like hits for ones and twos, again, maybe it's just because he's so low a level, that probably is why. But normally that'd be a bad sign for like one that I'm actually using for attacking because like for a support creature, that makes sense because really it's supposed to be healing, not attacking. But is he just gonna, like, am I just gonna use him and he's just gonna take up all of my magic? Wow, that Phantom Fang's one shot that it's made him. That that was pretty freaking awesome. Thanks. <laughs> That's pretty freaking awesome, Ness. I wasn't expecting that to be a one shot kill, but cool. This is a bad idea, but I want to have a go. Belly Buster, quick, do it before it. Oh, before it died. Oh my god, <laughs> it moves by freaking flying with its tiny wings. It doesn't look like those wings are big enough to carry it. Oh my god, I picked up an iron diamond. Nice. Okay, I got the Ice Maiden, and just like I said, it was lucky that I, that this was that I got the lower encounter rate, the lower recruitment rate first, because like literally the next encounter of Ice Maiden I got was re recruited. Frostine, Breezy, Nippy, Nah, Rachel. <laughs> Uh, you know what, we'll go with Rachel. Oh, what the freak, what kind of creature is friggin... Wait, did it say on there? I wasn't paying attention. What kind of creature is the, uh... The Frost Maiden? Oh my god, what the frig? It's a demon devil kind of thing? Okay, that is not what I was expecting. Maybe that's why it's got a crazy red glowing satanic friggin eye on it. <laughs> like, third eye on there. <laughs> and the horns maybe give it away. It's like an ice demon thing. Yeah, something that nobody likes, but these guys are pretty cool. Like, I quite like this guy. I, I kind of like the Ice Maiden as well. It's kind of a shame that nobody likes these guys.